Louis, um, a two 0 defeat tonight, but I imagine you can take a lot from that performance. Uh, yeah, it's, I think at the minute it's about getting the minutes um, and you know getting it, the work on your legs. Um, it was when it was going to be tough, you know. They're, they're a decent side, a decent opposition. So um, obviously it's disappointing to lose, but at this uh, stage of pre-season, you know, we're, we're coming up to halfway through. Um, the result isn't really the important thing as much as it would have been nice, you know, obviously with the opposition, it would have been nice to win. But, you know, um, at this stage of the year, um, pre-season, it's about getting the minutes on your legs and getting the fitness up. I imagine you've played in many pre-season friendlies over the years, but to play in front of 12,000 fans for a friendly, is that is that a new experience for you? Yeah, it was a bit of a bizarre one, to be honest. It had a bit of a cup final feel, to be fair. No, um, it, it's nice. Listen, as, as a professional footballer, you want to be playing against, uh, sorry, in front of big crowds. And um, it was really good to see, it. We, you know, the fans got right behind us. And um, like, like you say, 12,000 for a pre-season game is, um, is extraordinary, really. And uh, I really enjoyed that side of it. Um, and you can tell, was it, did it have a different kind of competitive edge to what perhaps other normal pre-season friendlies would do? It, it looked that way from up in the stands, the tackles seemed to be flying in. Yeah, definitely. You, you see some pre-season games and they look a bit, um, you know, slow and laboured. But obviously with, with the opposition we was playing, uh, we, di- we didn't really want that to be the case. Like you say, a few tackles um, flew in. Um, I think I was quite lucky to you know, not, not catch any of them. I, f- I know a few of the lads uh, got a few... Uh, bumps and bruises in there but um, on the whole I think there's no serious injuries which is good um, and like I said before the, the main thing was you know getting the, getting the minutes in and the, um, the fitness on your legs um, Moving on to Wigan at the weekend that's going to be a different type of test for you all together what are you expecting from that game? Um, I just thought again another tough test you know they're a good side alright they come down but um, you know they'll, they'll play football I was looking in the programme there Um you know, because it was it was a program for both games, and you know their squad, and they've got some, they've, they've still got some really good players, got a lot of firepower up front, you know. So, um, no, listen, it's good to uh, test yourself against um, good opposition, and I think we've done that tonight, and we'll be doing that again on Saturday. He played on the on the left hand side tonight. How, how did you? Is that a role that you accustomed to? We've seen you play on the right for Hartlepool, the left tonight, and we also saw you up front in the in the non league games as well. Yeah, I think. It can be a good and bad thing, you know, the fact that I can play, you know, one of three, four positions. And listen, if I'm if I'm playing and I'm on the pitch and I'm I'm a happy man, you know, and I'll give it all, always give it my all. I can play, like I say, either side. And I spoke to the gaffer about that, and um, we we had a bit of a chat. But no, I'm I'm like I said, if I'm if I'm playing, I'll give it 100%, and I'll um, try and enjoy it the best I can.